Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Deadfire with me, Break It Dawn. Let's continue exploring the island. All right, nothing to the south. Or the east. All right, so we need 407 damage to level up Mod Weir. Right, there's our bounty target, Nomu the Marauder. And Teo Ramunga. Enemies ahead. Got it. I win so good. Send the worms after the druids in the back. We'll drop one of these on top of all their melee combatants. Yes, I am glad. You know what? No. I'm not going to cast any spells here. I'm going to try and grind out Mod Weir. Swarms are messing up the druid. That's right. Okay, send them after the bear, because I need to do damage to Kith with my main character. Gina, keep Jody in the fight, please. Sure. But I actually appreciate that she's healing here as well. It means I can get more damage off the mod weir. I leave the rest up to my main character. I'll keep Palagina and Adair close by for their auras and 
regeneration effects. Yeah, we should be fine. That's right for the republics. Mm. Uh, uh. Yeah. Oh, just like that. Yeah. They're pretty a pretty good fight. As far as I'm hitting, I'm sure we've already finished mod war. I'm bleeding. Uh, yeah. I am ready. Let's go. Mm -hmm. But better safe than sorry. Okay, let's speak to her. You know what? I'm impressed. That was whew, wow. I've never experienced anything like that before. Modware not only warms in your hands, but begins to glow faintly. Oh, sounds like you two got something real special there. Almost makes a man wish for his sword of his own. Did no one ever teach you not to eavesdrop? Keep your ears to yourself, creep. <laughs> You've been good to me. Better than I thought you'd be. I may not always show it, but I appreciate it. I guess. Modware grows curiously light, almost as if it weighs nothing at all. My owner... Things weren't perfect between us. Sometimes she'd cry after using me or scabbard me and ignore me for days. It was complicated. You won't tell her about us, will you? I, not that I like you or anything. It, I just don't want her to get the wrong idea. She's very sensitive. You can sense Modware trying to be stern, but its seriousness is belied by the slight waver in its voice. Don't make this weird. Oh, it got weird ages ago. <laughs> oh, this was a mistake. I knew I shouldn't have brought it up. Modware groans, clearly regretting its previous words. Just point me at the map and I'll mark the last place I heard she was going. Some city called Dunnage. Wait. Why would she tell you where she's going, but not bring you along? The tip of the blade briefly flashes bright red. Four checks here. Clearly there's more to this than you're letting on. Tell me what happened. Maybe I can help. She dumped me, okay? She said she couldn't do this anymore and tossed me in a pile of garbage. Do you feel better now that I've humiliated myself for you? Is that what you wanted to hear? <laughs> That's terrible. I'm sorry. I don't want your fucking pity. Modwear stills. Suddenly so heavy you can barely heft it. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Its voice becomes small, subdued, as if it's lost the will to speak. Let's go. That's now exceptional. Plus 30% damage, plus 8 accuracy, and plus 2 penetration. Go 25 kith next. This one's better than the rest. When they hold me, it almost feels real, but the way things used to be. Joy, bright and buoyant, that grows with every swing, every uh, slick splash of hot blood across my blade. It almost feels right. I almost feel like me. But I'm not me without her, am I? And what did she do? She left me behind. Abandoned me. This one will too. But maybe I'll get lucky. Maybe we'll get to Dunnage before they realize they don't want me. What do you want? Remind me where I'm supposed to find your owner. Dunnage, that place where all the pirates hang out and do crimes or whatever. Don't forget to look for my owner there, okay? It's... it's important. 
Just between you and me, what do you think of our traveling companions? Gossip? Really? <laughs> now you're speaking my language. Adair. Poor guy's none too bright, but those muscles. Mm. <laughs> Jody. I half expect Jody to crawl into your tent when you're not looking. I assume she'd say this even if we had romanced her last episode. Uh, Alof. Isselmere asked if she could buy me a drink. I told her I only thirst for blood. <laughs> Almost made Alof eat his pants. Seraphin. I asked him which of us he thinks is taller. Now he won't talk to me. <laughs> Takehu. Fish boy so self-satisfied, it's a wonder he has time for anything else. Maya. She keeps asking me if I think her weapons are happy. Can you tell her to leave me alone? Palagina. Palagina picks me up when she thinks you're not looking. For someone so severe, she's gentler than you might expect. One of the others. Fasina's probably the smartest person in this merry band of idiots. Other than me, obviously. Edwin sings wending epics when she thinks no one's listening. It'd almost be nice if it weren't for her terrible singing voice. Constantine and I have an understanding. The nature of that understanding is none of your business. <laughs> Edwin sings, Fasina's probably the smartest person in this merry... What do you want? Yeah, I okay. Ooh, Chameleon's Touch. It is plus one to an attribute and a skill determined by the user's class. This ring is an heirloom of an Adirian mercenary company, the Motherless Curs. Never prestigious group. The mercenaries were not overburdened with any sense of loyalty, honor, or fair play. Each member endlessly plotted against the current commander, often claiming the position with the dagger to the back. Assuming command, the traitor would also acquire the ring as a symbol of rank. The ring was worn by fighters, barbarians, ciphers, and all the variety of people skilled in the art of violence. Each of them claimed the ring heightened their unique abilities with some sort of charm. It was last seen worn by Hylian, a rogue operating in the Deerwood. It is notable that Hylian had no known connection to the Kurs. How he acquired the ring is unknown, but it is unlikely its former owner parted with it willingly. I guess there's no way to tell... Oh, just equipping it. Hmm. Alright, so just might for my paladin. I'm assuming the same case for fighters. And dexterity. Oh, and a skill. I wonder what skill's getting boosted. That's how I figured athletics. I think it's diplomacy. Oh, I guess intellect as well. That's odd. I feel like resolve is the more important stat for paladins. I would have thought might resolve, but intellect also makes sense. Resolve for a priest. Alright, religion makes sense. So, Adair was getting 
Quest 2. Alright, because he's going to both Dexterity and Might. And athletics, which is the skill I'm focusing most on. Um, so it seems like Adair already gets the most bang for his buck out of that ring. All right, so Aloth gets yeah dexterity and intellect. Interesting. Oh, because they're multi-classed. I just put it together. Really, sleight of hand. Out of the rogue skills. That's the one it went with. An arcana. That makes sense for the wizard. Okay, I think we'll give that to Adair. Well, hold on, my main character is also multi-class. I didn't see it... Spending a little bit more time on this than I expected. So we have might. Oh, and intellect, never mind. That's right. That's right, I misremembered. But still, since Aloth gets the bonus athletics, I think he's going to get the most use out of it. Yeah? Hmm? Sure, will do. Then again, I wouldn't mind having that bonus to intellect on my main character. He has a lot of self buffs that I wouldn't mind extending the duration of. We'll see. All right, to Teo Ramunga. You notice a small pavilion containing a large, weathered statue of stone a little ways off the path. It appears to be a Juana shrine. Search the surrounding area. The statue and surrounding area is clean and maintained. Locals likely visit the shrine frequently to keep it that way. You look around but don't see anyone nearby. Approach and identify it. The statue bears the shape of a nude woman with the head of a monstrous fish. It portrays Ngati, the Juana's rendition of Andro. An inscription runs along the shrine's base. The surf smooths stones, but also crushes them into sand. I'm not going to desecrate the shrine, since I know that the gods are real. But we can always do with a buff, so pray at the shrine and rest. You kneel before the shrine, whispering your prayer to the cool stone. It offers no answers, but you feel calmer as you rise to your feet and set about making camp. The hours pass without complication, and you wake and continue your journey. So I wonder if we would have been ambushed if we desecrated it. Or 
Or maybe there's even a unique fight. Either way, it's the Juana's shrine. I, I don't want to desecrate it. No sense in disrespecting the Juana. Rayoa O'Hara, or Hera. To the west of Nakataka, rolling verdant plains stretch towards the mountains. Spiked plants with bright flowers punctuate the emerald green tall grass. The occasional tree dots the landscape, broad foliage casting shade like a parasol. The crest arrives to see a group of reptilian figures, roughly a hundred feet down the hill. On the top of broad flat stone, the Zorps chirp and squawk. Approach openly. You advance towards a gathering, and the Zorps squeal and chirp at your approach. Several ready spears and bows. The wielder exchange glances with one another, as if unsure whether or not they should attack. Uh, easy there. We mean you no harm. Oh, uh, can we go back? <laughs> uh, brandish weapons and yell. The Zorb's beady eyes widen at the sudden appearance of so near a threat, and they stumble over each other, chittering and screeching, as they try to back away. The band breaks, Zorb's discarding their weapon as they flee towards the jungle. You collect what they abandon, and continue your travels. It's a pretty significant uh, Intimidate check. Peho Wayne, or Peho Wani? Yeah, that's probably right. Hey, who want You go all the way down. There's no reason to, though. Our eyes marked with two skulls, but we've fought higher level enemies than that. So long as it's not immune to burn damage. We can kind of beat any enemy with a brand enemy. Enemies ahead. We just have to survive. Oh, and the buff we got from the Ingati Shrine plus two to Constitution. Take them nice. Now. Thick, worth and raw. I don't think I can pull it. Like this other worm, I can't find his circle. There we go. Like you being behind me? No, I cannot do that. Let's go. 
We won't show him the whip feather yet. I'm in a weird spot. No pen. I just have 13 slash armor. Okay. I can just squeeze in here. Absolutely nothing to it. Which is what's that belly thing is? There's something I can do. Good thinking. Will do. Rocks and debris have collapsed onto this mechanism, rendering it inoperable. This wagon seems to be in relatively good repair, in sharp contrast to its weather-worn surroundings. Ready to brawl? We got trouble, folks. That was voice acted. A little quiet. He is very resi resistant to burn damage. This guy's not. Let's go ahead and cast it on him first. Jody really shouldn't be on the front line like that. Let's go. Nope. That's not very helpful. I tried to disengage Jody, it was a bad idea, obviously. <laughs> Else. Damn it. 
Okay, he went down as well. It's actually expected. Oh, still hasn't learned how to take a hit. Closer, please. Thank you. Uh, let's go ahead and put this on him as well. The brand enemy effect probably won't do very much damage, if any, but it will increase our regular attack damage. So it doesn't do burn damage, just raw damage instead. This is probably worth casting. This thing isn't doing the job. Let's get these guys out. Yeah. That must have hurt. Should have this in the bag. It's a matter of whittling them down. Regeneration we're getting. It's a little silly. Can't make a dent. Please cut me loose. Don't leave me here. Right. I've got it. What are we afflicted by? Gaping wound, minus 15% max health. I see the wind. Another enemy's walking up to us. I'm gonna call it here. Our next episode, we will free the Aquaru Trader and deal with this guy. And I assume there's gonna be another fight in this area as well, and possibly below. 
But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.